Hello, it's my favourite time of the month, Squaller Box unboxings. I love them, they're just my little bit of excitement in the month. It's just a, a little gift. Okay, so no surprise this time, they, um, the art supplies are right there. Uh, so they are alcohol markers with a, a fine nib and a brush nib. Okay, I'm really happy with that because a lot of times it seems to be fine uh, brush nib and a chisel. Whereas I do quite like to outline my work if I want to. So, yeah, very happy with that. That's exciting. Um, I'm wondering what else is going to be with the alcohol markers then. We're not going to have, like, brushes or anything. Okay, so uh, we have a micron pen. I love outlining my work, so very happy with that. This is quite a fine nib one as well, so very, very happy with that. We have a... Ah, oh, so this is one of those secure uh, jelly roll pens, which I feel like I see every YouTuber have, so officially a YouTuber. And then we have some Darwin pencils, so there's a grey and a, a brown. So I'm guessing that'll be quite good for adding some shade and maybe some light. Um, And then our nice little sticker, which I always put on my sketchbook. I love getting stickers. And then refreshers, which is my favourite sweet, so already I'm excited for this box. Um, Well, you know what, I, a couple... Years ago, this art style would have been absolute peak, mate. Love it. Although I, I have a big collection of prints now. I don't know what to do with them. Um, okay, so recycled paper. That's pretty cool. Uh, it's quite smooth, which I suppose makes sense with, with alcohol markers. Yeah, I'm, I'm very excited for this box. I don't use alcohol markers often, so this is exciting. So just doing some swatches, see how they layer. They layer quite nicely, and also the... They're not too streaky, some alcohol marks I've tried. It's really obvious how streaky they are. But these, yeah, they layer really nicely. And I really like the colour selection as well. I feel like you can do quite a lot with these colour selections. There's some good skin tones and then there's some like, nice bright colours. And then alcohol markers layer as well. So you could maybe, you know, make some of those colours a bit more muted. And yeah, I think here I'm seeing what it would be like to layer to maybe create some shadows. Just trying the pencil, which you can't really see on this camera, but it, it created more of a light than a shadow. And then the brown would be good maybe for the, uh, the skin areas. But to be honest, just using that purple pen was the best for shadow. And then, yeah, using the um, the white gel pen and the, the outliner. So obviously done my drawing off camera um decided to go with a bit of like a, a tim burton type theme of just like a, a little girl playing with a bug these pens blend really nicely um and i don't know what i'm doing with alcohol markers at all um but they still for a novice blended really nicely um just so smooth. I've I've struggled with alcohol markers before trying to blend, whereas these just did it effortlessly. Um, and yeah, really good skin tones if you were going to do pale white skin. Not sure how they'd be to go much deeper than this, to be honest, which is one of the reasons why I thought I would go more Tim Burton-esque, because a lot of those characters are incredibly pale, if not like on the white grey side. Um, and also I've been watching a lot of Tim Burton so it was in my head um, and I just I love his art style to be honest it's not something I draw of often but maybe I'll start drawing more I am absolutely in love with this colour, especially for hair. It's actually almost wanting, making me want to dye my own hair. It's just so rich and vibrant. Yeah, absolutely love this colour. And do you know what I find um, colouring in with markers really satisfying? I'm really tempted to get myself a adult colouring book just, just for markers because 
yeah, they're just so satisfying. They just go on so smoothly. Really enjoy it. And then sometimes, you know, you don't want to have the stress of trying to create perfectly render an artwork sometimes an adult colouring book is it's just what you need so I'm, I'm tempted to do that um, but yeah as it's me definitely need a brightly coloured <laughs> dyed hair um, and this is where the the purple colour came in really well as well because I could use that as a, a bit of shadow for the hair which wor worked really nicely with these two colours blended in together it also makes the skin look a little paler, which I quite liked because I wanted the skin to be very, very pale, like almost to the point of sickly pale, but with just a little bit of pink in there. And yeah, the brush tips on these were really nice. You could really get like a fine point and blend very nicely too. So yeah, I wanted to try and use as many colours as possible so whether the artwork whether it's necessarily the colour palette I would choose if I was just doing my own maybe not but I quite like the colours together um I wanted to put her in like an old timey sort of outfit almost like slightly Victorian-esque I don't know why when I think of Tim Burton I always think of like old fashioned maybe I'm thinking of um Corpse Bride that type of era um and then yeah, I could use the the grey pen for a bit of shad shad shadow, God, shadow around the the white fluffy bits of the dress. Um, and then you can see I drew a spider, which is definitely me, me thinking of Corpse Bride with the uh, the spider and the worm character. Yeah, I've never used Owen pencils before, and they they seemed good. I don't think you can really get a good idea just from using two pencils on top of markers, but nothing to complain about but the markers definitely starved the show for this one for me yeah. and then yeah just put a shadow just to be honest to give me more of an excuse to use that pencil So after adding some highlights to the hair, just so I could use that white pen, um, I just went round the little spider webs and drew in the spider. The pen is lovely. I've had micro pans before, they're always good. Um, and I'm always happy to get more fine liners. Um, it would be pretty cool to get some some like different coloured ones sometimes, so maybe some, some brightly coloured ones. I think the only ones I've had have been black brown and then there was maybe like a burgundy one I once got um so this is where I'm kicking myself I decided do I want to use that green because it was such a lovely color uh, and I decided yes and I really wish I hadn't <laughs> but as this is not digital art I cannot go back um so we just have to make do with it um I'm not even sure what I was trying to achieve here it was just, I wanted to use the green because I liked the colour and it didn't really make sense. I, I could have put her just sitting on some grass. I'm not sure why I decided to do this weird <laughs> outline. <laughs> but, you know, you make some mistakes. But yeah, this is coming to the end. Um, thank you so much for watching. Really enjoyed this scroller box. It's a really good one for me. And apart from that, I hope you're all having a lovely day and thank you for watching. See you again soon.